Keep going. Why don't you get like a harness or something? Like you just if you cross back across the honor line during the duration of this parade, I will arrest you. Do you understand that? For what? Disorderly for conduct. Improper interfering with police. on the highway. Interfering with police officers. Okay, do you understand Disorderly that? I have told you I will arrest you if you cross this pink line from this point forward. So if I cross this line... That is correct. From this point forward, the you'll arrest me. Here. Okay. So if I go that way, you're going to arrest me. If there's a clearing in the in the parade where people are starting to cross, then you can. Okay, but if there's a clearing in the parade, then I can walk that way, right? We don't want you walking over there because, again, you're just going to cause problems. If you walk over there, right, uh -huh. um, they're going to take that as threat. Uh -huh. if you've insulted the man's wife, you've called her every mean name in the book, you've wagged a finger in their face, um, Right? And, and if they perceive you to be a threat, they would have a right to defend themselves. And I have a feeling that's exactly what you're trying to get to happen. I have a feeling you're trying to bait them into a physical confrontation. And if you walk over there and that happens, mm -hmm. right? Don't come running to me saying, Officer, officer, they put hands on me. Because I'm telling you right now, if you go over there, that is likely to happen. Mm -hmm. So if you walk over there, then it's by your own doing, okay? So I would urge you to leave the area and go that way. But I'm so not going to leave the area. It's a giant parade. Walk around and enjoy the day. You're choosing to stand here, which is the one place in the world nobody wants you. Okay. okay. You're choosing to stay here, and you're choosing to cause these problems. You're making that decision. So I'm asking you to be a good citizen and realize that you've created a problem. I didn't create I, a problem. I'm asking you to I didn't create problem. a problem. She created a problem by Again, taking my sign. Go home, look in the mirror, no. and you will see the source of all of your problems. No. She she sat there and took my sign. We've been through this, okay? That's that's your version of the events and it's not supported by anybody else's version. So, we're done with that, okay? She had the sign in her hand when 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 you uh when she walked up to you over there, when we first when we first walked up, she what, had that what sign. What sign are we talking about? My fuck the police sign. Okay, so says you. We've been down this road. Okay, don't go over there. Don't cause problems. Understood? Mm hmm. Is that a yes? No. It's, it's a not no. a yes. So you you intend to go over there and create problems. I'm not going to go over there and create a problem. If I walk over there and they do something, that's their problem. I, I just told you that I believe that you're trying to bait them into a physical confrontation. If I wanted to bait them, they would have already been baited. Because you're the master baiter. That was better than the whale. That was better than the whale one. All right, have a good day, Mr. West. <laughs>
If you're a real man, you put your bitch in check. <laughs> you put your bitch in check. <laughs> if you're a real man, you put your bitch in check. <laughs> So there's the propaganda the police are doing, trying to make the police look like they're good people when they actually shoot kids. They shot two 17 year olds within two months of each other. And let's not forget the 12 year old that was shot in Cleveland by the police.
Hey, not much. What's going on? Back, back to you, too, homeboy. <laughs>